Hello everyone. My name Bokusa. My name Brokusatsu. Forgive me. I'm, I just forgive me. Uh, today we are here to review the Metacon Mayfex Hush Superman the reissue. And frankly, wait a minute. This figure, this figure got reissue. Yes, it is. This is the third reissue. So this. So Metacon decided to release, decided to reissue Superman for the third time. And uh, buddy, I'm so happy that I finally have this guy. You had no idea how annoying it was for me to try to hunt him down after all these years. First time he came out, I missed out on him, and uh, well, I got mad at myself. Second time, I missed out on him, and uh, I got mad at myself. Third time, I saw that he was up for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store. Well, I well, so his so his funny story. I put my I put my my, my pre order in for them right, but then I remember that uh around a couple of weeks after that when I got an email saying that uh he was getting processed I, I saw that my bank account had no money in there I'm like oh crap I gotta cancel him, so I did that. I wait till like I wait till the next week I get paid then I put my put then I put my order in for him again and uh, yeah he shipped and here we are now. I got the man and steal himself. And uh yay for that is about freaking time. Because buddy I think I'm gonna be honest with saying this. I'm not the biggest fan of Superman, but this figure is definitely the definitive Superman in my collection. So let's go. So let's talk about the good and the bad. Alright, for all right, so how good is the articulation? This is how far he goes from here to here to here to here. This is how far his arms go too, which actually are really good. I'm not gonna lie. I know that the I know that I know that I can talk. Sorry, I'm excited for this. I know that the original release he wasn't like he wasn't like that tight and all. My isn't so. Oh, but yeah, no, stuff for you. But yeah, my copy isn't that tight, and that's good to hear. So you can put. So you can put. The man is still in any pose you want to. Because well beyond any pose you put him in, it's it's basically it could be a Superman pose. If you got like a lot of DC figures, like villains, you can make him fight like like the uh Storm Collectibles DC and Justice villain figures. Dark side and uh Matro I'm gonna say Doomsday. Yeah, Doomsday. My bad. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say Metropolis, but nah, that's his city. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this figure's pretty good. This is his back. I love the colors because this because this outfit is well common accurate to Jim Lee's. And for anyone to know, yes, I did read the Hush book. I have a to. I have the book. I do have the book, by the way. I did bought it. Low. Yes, I did read the Hush book multiple times. I, I even rewatched the movie. <laughs> that movie, I don't think. I don't think that, uh, I'm gonna be on that. The Hush movie isn't all that bad, but it could've been better, in my opinion. But yeah. I will say this for those who want to know: does, does this figure have like? Does this figure have like any smudges? Uh no, not 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 I can think of, but I will say that uh you can uh see on my copy right there there's a little bit of glue right there and uh well it's not on this side but it's on this side that's trying that's that holding this top piece again. That's a big oof. Not like no smudges on the it's not like no smudges on the back, which is good, by the way. His glued in, massive <laughs> But, uh, yeah. It, uh, there's a smudge, like, right here. From the paint. But, uh. See? Right there. There's a smudge. But besides that, no, this figure, this figure has to be pretty good.
So now on to the on to the accessories. Well, this is a comic book. This is a comic book figure, and he does come with a lot of accessories. So here we have a label, like a pantry to say how oh, yeah, this is actually the real deal, not bootleg. Yes, there are Metacom bootlegs. There are bootleg Mayfex figures out there. And that and yet there have been any of the Hush Batman figures, and that's pretty good. <sighs> uh, okay. Here's a stand that he comes with. You can uh, use for him if you feel like want well, to put him like in a position for him to fly to fly, or you want or you, or you want to pose him with Batman when, when he's choking Batman while trying to punch him. Yeah. <laughs> now Superman does not come with a lot, and that's actually pretty good to be honest, because he isn't he doesn't have like two hundred. Or like 13 a lot of accessories. No, he comes with like a lot. He comes with like a short limited of, of accessories. So just to get it on the way, here we here we have poison ivy's uh parts you can put on him. So you can make him be well brainwash. These 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 are for his fists, by the way. You got you gotta take these parts all oh, put this in there. Don't worry, you'll see the pictures. But yeah, if I like a dope one, no, no, I do not have the Mayfix Poison Ivy in pre-order. Mayf Medicon, uh, delay her until next month. But I'm just gonna wait till like that figure is fully available. Same for Riddler. So yeah. Oh yeah, the Mayfix Riddler Hush pre-order just came out. But I'm, I'm not gonna pre-order him. He comes out. He comes out next year, November, so I'll probably get my hands on him from Big Bad Toy Store. So yeah. Okay, so here we have, so here we have. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Crap. Oh, that's what wonderful. Sorry, everyone. I didn't mean for you guys to hear me swear. Today it's just not my day. Here we have Batman's ring, ring, the Kryptonite ring that Bat. That you gotta get to your blue cape hush Batman to make him both punch Superman in the face. Here we have his flying here here we have here we have soup's flying hands. His uh hold on to me hand, the hands he has for you to grab his hands when he's saving people. His combat hands and uh, more fisted hand. I know what these hands are for, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Overall, he doesn't come with a lot. Which is good. Because this figure, uh, this figure again, it's the finished Superman figure that uh, I feel like everyone should have in their collection. But if you, but if you have, like, the uh, the old school Superman Mayfax figure from the, from the old school Superman movies, and he's also a good alternative. Granted, I think that figure looks good, but not all amazing, but that's just my opinion. So, now on to size comparison. And, uh, <sighs> since this is a Superman video, I had no choice but to compare him to his, you can say, his, his, his uh, counterpart. And before I look in the comments, do not, do not. Start a hate war in the comment section because I hate that so much. Here he is with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And yes, I know. Death Battle is making a part three of that. I don't care. I don't like Death Battle because the information is so bullshit and not even f accurate to for both characters. Both of them downplay both characters so much in their own video that not even a joke. Moving on from that. So here he is with the Lightning Collection Remaster Green Ranger. If you don't want to know, wait a minute. For if you don't want to know, yes, I will review this figure when I get a chance. If you don't want to know about the Dragon, sh the Dragon Shield, well, you have to buy Jason's figure in order to put in order to give Tommy his shield. 
that's how it is. Here he is with the SA figures comma the Gene. And yes, I have Gene, by the way. Just want to clarify that. Here he is with the SA figure Amazing Spider Man 2. Well, I was going to say Andrew Garfield, but uh. Yeah. Damn, he's standing pretty well with both of them. Figure of the year right here, by the way. Here he is with the Mayfax. Uh, not Mayfax. Sorry, wait, what? The Mayfax is in until like next year. Here he is with the Black Series Book of Bubble Fat. <laughs> Forget. Here <laughs> with with the blood. I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. She's she's the voice actress of Mulan in the animated Mulan movies. And I love those movies, but bro, I totally forgot her name. I'm I'm so sorry right now. Please forgive me. I want to get a shout out to my to a friend of mine from GD2 for me, but uh, yeah. He stayed pretty well right next to them. And that's good to hear. Granted, these are domestic figures, and he's a, he's a Japanese import that cost me around, I think, almost, well, yeah, almost around 90 bucks. I think I, I gotta go back and check to see what the price was on them, big bad, but uh, yeah. And since it's a. Since, and since this is a Batman Hush video, I have all my Hush, my all my Batman Hush figures to compare him with. So let's compare him to his uh to his counterpart, the Dark Knight himself, his best friend. And yes, if you think about it, Clark and Bruce are they are best friends, even though Bruce don't want to admit it. You know, you know how Bruce is. He doesn't want to admit that. Uh, he does. He doesn't want to admit it. But yes, Clark is his best friend. Damn, Clark, I didn't know you and Bruce were buddy. Well, you technically are. World's finest right here. Joseph, sorry. World's finest right here. I'm just saying. And I love, and I love that. And I love that team up in the Superman anime series cartoon. I'm telling you, what, the DCAU is peak. And that's the best version of every comic book character. Don't at me. All right, let's move them out of the way. Here he is with Catwoman, and I gotta do my I, I gotta go do my review and pictures on on Bruce's girlfriend right here. <laughs> yes, no, y'all can get mad at me because not Talia, but leave me alone. I, I actually like Talia, but still, here we have up Bruce Wayne's adopted son, and about the well, we have Nightwing. I meant to say, but uh. But yeah, even though Dick and Clark are good friends, but still, and here we <laughs> and here we have well Huntress. If you watch just the anime series, then uh, you know, then uh, you know what Superman and Huntress relationship is in that show. In the Casman, Casman, uh, Casman arc, I forget. But yeah, uh, he's still pretty well. He's still pretty well. He's still pretty well with all of them. Even though Nightwing is somewhat the shortest, but still. And yeah, that, and yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's all. <coughs> Overall, what do I think? This guy is a defense, this, this guy is definitely, this guy is definitely my, div my divinity spoon in my collection. What I mean by that, yeah. I've been looking. I've been trying to find a good Superman figure to represent in my in my uh, collection for my DC collection. And uh, McFarlane, as in, I try to give Todd the benefit of the doubt, but no, I'm not a big fan of figures. Thank God he finally made a combo with one woman. But at the same time, I already know that that figure that figure look like poopy. But uh, 
As much as I try to give him far and benefit of the doubt, not the big fan figure. His Superman figure don't look that good. They don't, I'm sorry. Not buying the Mezco. Heck nah, that's too expensive. The Mayfex was my best uh, my, my, uh, The Mayfex was my best option. And um, I'm actually pretty happy and excited that I got her. her I said her. I got him. Cause he he's now the defense in my collection for all my pictures. And I well cannot wait to use him more in the future. <laughs> and uh yeah. Came in for Poison Ivy. Probably get my hands on her next year because well I do have Superman's uh I do have Superman's uh effects right here for her. Oh yeah, I forgot to show one last thing. If I can find it. Where the hell is it? Oh here it is. I forgot to show off the uh, second head that it comes with. My bad. <laughs> Here's the brainwashing uh, head that it comes with. You can, well, pop off. You, you can pop off this guy and put on him for for him to be controlled by poison ivy. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. <laughs> sorry, this, sorry, this video was all over the place. I'm trying to get back into the routine making video. Thank you all for watching. Pre like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social medias in the description. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to do my review on everyone's favorite karate girl, the essay figure, Kamen Rider, Gene, Cobra, uh, Vice Stamp. Well, not Vice Stamp. Cobra Gino. I, I'm, I'm going to do my review on Gene tomorrow, I'm trying to say. And you already know how I feel about the character. Not go sorry here. But uh yeah. See you guys tomorrow when I talk about the good and the bad about about her. So yeah, talk guys tomorrow and uh enjoy the pictures. Peace. Bye bye.